Welcome back, my friends, and welcome to whatever this room is. Um, this is a couple of rooms over from uh, the bench. It's another room because uh, no room for this giant spray booth. We're going to have to uh, put it here on this table where I demoed my other spray boots. There's the original. Uh, that's the... Let me turn this. Hold on, guys. Let me take this off the mount. There we go. This is that original spray booth I tested a while ago. This is their lowest price spray booth with the uh, dual fans it's still hooked up and in its place right here was I'll well, get you guys too dizzy the other the Kaizo waterfall spray booth which I use I'm just not equipped out here to uh, film anything so you guys don't see me uh, using it too often plus these have been out of stock for a long time I don't like showing stuff that's hard to, for you guys to get uh, that becomes a pain so I, I actually don't like uh, showing things that are unobtainable. But for now, we're going to go ahead and show this double-sized spray booth. I think it's the same company as this, Master. Let me see. Yes, Master. And uh, it's a dual output. It's a double length. So I got this T. Can you see it? In any way you guys can uh, work it out at your place, you can actually just have both hoses go out the window, you know, with both of these these fit in the window and then you close the window around it and you can put one on top of the other but if your window is too small and you can only have room for one then you take this I have my bucket here for this demo at the end and put this out the window and I put both hoses you'll see when I go to hook this up into that T so uh, tying them both together and um, I saved a little money on this one by going without LED lights let me show you what it says it without optional LED lighting so I think it cut the price by 50 bucks or something like that so I says you know what we'll go ahead and get these lights which I use in my other booth for about six bucks <laughs> and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, show uh, show it off using those and then any way you can save because this booth uh, in particular let me put this back in here is not too cheap um, I think I paid 230 for this without the LED lights and uh, I'll show you why. It's a double length. If you guys need a bigger booth, then uh, this is what you're going to need. So let me go ahead and crack that open. My address is on either of these. It's on the side. That's why I have it showing. I haven't even opened it yet. So we're going to show this off in real time like I like to do on the channel. I have no idea how this is packed. I think it says don't separate them. This is a set. Do not separate. That's what it says right here. So it is two that uh, meet up together. I don't know if it's these two or if it's different. If it's two different boots. But let's go ahead and pull both of these out. I don't even know if I can grab this one. Let me see. Difficult doing this alone. Sometimes I get somebody to hold the box. There we go. There we go. All right. So let's go ahead. Get all this out of here. All right. So. Let's go ahead and open one of these up. Maybe we'll do this on the bench. Maybe it's easier for me to reach. Let's pull this way up. I had to get a portable uh, portable phone holder here so I can move around out here. All right, let's see what we got. Here we go. It is a little different. It's black. That one is not. That one's gray. But other than that, it looks the same. Get this manual out of here. I built enough of these to know. Oh, the hose is black. I do like that instead of the gray. And the little fittings. Yep, it's got the brackets to hold the hoses. Put that aside. And let's see what else is in here. This is probably the power. It's got to be the power cord. Yep. So let's just pull that right out. We're going to need that. All right. I'll leave this in here so I know where it goes. Let's go ahead. Can you guys see this? I'm, I'm not behind the camera. All right, we'll pull this out. We'll look at one, and then I'll pull the other one out off camera, and we'll go from there. So let's check this one out. All right, there's one. Here we go, there's two. All right, well, I like the big switches on this compared to the other one. Look at that. And there we go. What's this trap door? 
see what that is. Let's see what that is. One second. All right. Now, there it is. See, it shows one and then two. See, we're going to combine the two. We'll make a double length. All right. All right, I'm going to pause the camera. I'm going to grab the instructions, see if there's anything special. Maybe that little trap door is something to do with uh, connecting the two, but I'm going to find out right now. All right, guys, with a quick little research, this is basically, not basically, as Judge Judy always says, don't use the word basically. It's just a storage for this because it's portable. It's a storage to keep the, uh, the power cord if you put it away, which is a pretty nice idea. It keeps everything nice and neat. See, and it holds the power but we need the power all right the bottom is the four feet obviously this folded underneath which was a little tricky to see but what we're going to do here is pop it open lays out oh here's a turntable i rarely use them but it comes with them look it came with these two some clips always good to have and it's going to assemble just like the other one i believe you probably want to take these stickers off i'll leave them on for now yeah, and it just opens up, looks like, yeah, just like the other one. Let me make sure this pops out. One second, guys. We're going to open it all up. It's like origami here. There we go. Got it. Okay. And that's it. This fits in like a puzzle. Here we go. Hard to do on camera and working efficiently here. All right. This pops up. I believe this comes across. Yes, this comes down on top and on top. It's a little bigger than the other one. The other one had a, let me see. I moved the other one out of the way, guys, so we can have room for both of these. Yeah, it's a little different. It's a little different. It's a little deeper, it would appear. And there they go. These hinges aren't the best. And back up. All right, now I don't know how this is going to do two of them, but it looks like you take these off and probably clip them together, getting us a double length booth. So what I'm going to do here is, oh, let me let this down a little bit. Let me pull out. Here we go. What I'm going to do is get the other booth out of the box, and I'll get it on this bench. It's the same. I want to show you actually assembling this thing. This should fit a little better than that. I think it's just, this is just me. But then again, I don't care because I'm going to actually attach the other one right there. But... Um, yeah, so far not bad. It's just like the other one. It just doesn't have the lighting, but we're going to put our own lighting in it, that's for sure. And we'll do that in a second. All right, let me grab the other one. We'll put it on the bench, and we'll see if we can tie these two together. All right, guys, here we go. I, uh, it's basically you just uh, you leave the uh, side flapped down, you butt them up together, and you just attach these. You leave in the middle. You know, I guess I personally would get something to hold this up permanently. Maybe a popsicle stick here and then tape it together so it's not that bad it's it's not even sagging that bad i can actually let's see if i can lower this a little bit for you guys here we go so let's see how loud it is we're not going to test it yet until i get the lights in it let's turn on each fan they're both plugged in there we go that's not too bad it isn't bad for multiple fans So uh, I might get my uh, sound meter and see what decibels that is. And we're also going to see how big it is to hold a giant ship kit. We will take this out and hold that up. See, now the other booth cannot handle that hull of that ship model at all. So that's where this comes into play. Um, yeah, let me pause the camera one more time. I'm going to get my sound meter. It's on my other phone. And we'll see what the decibel level is. And then we're going to go ahead and put the LED lights in. And then we'll test it out. Okay, my friends, here we are. We are going to test the sound meter. Just me talking is 65, 50, All right. 29, looks like it's a mosquito. So here we go.
says it's the level of a conversation. It's not that bad. There you go. All right. Turn them up. All right, let me open up the package of the uh, LED lights. Let's see what that takes, and then uh, we'll go ahead and put the lighting in here, and then we'll test it out as far as uh, exhaust goes. We'll do the old lighted candle trick and see if it blows the smoke out. All right, my friends, it is. this is all you get. You get, you know, this plugs into a USB power brick, and then it comes with this remote. And we basically we just want cool white. And we're going to get as bright as we can. But it's two-sided tape. So I started at the end. And we're just going to go ahead for now. You guys can put this any way you want. But keep in mind, five, ten bucks, whatever this, this uh, LED strips cost, it's a bargain. It's a bargain. Um, if the booth came with the lights built in, you know, I would have been happy. But to see the giant price difference, uh, it's a rare sight. They usually uh, include them, but I guess to keep the cost down on this one, they went ahead and did that. Now, I might use this somewhere else. You can cut LED strip lights anywhere. I can cut this right here, but I'm cutting off a lot here. So I might end up using this for something else. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just going to put it to the end here. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to let it sit on the outside. We're just going to see how well it lights the booth up. So we'll just get that out of the way. So there it is. It's a cross. Let's go ahead and plug it in. Let's see what we get. There we go. Of course, it's all different colors. We don't want that. We want cool white. And there's how you adjust them all. Is it on? It is on. Yep. All right white and we want to make it brighter and there we go hard to see with the overhead lighting I'll show you the lighting now oh you can see right there it's all lit up and uh, right there and if this was uh, your own booth I would go ahead and line the sides starting here and have the cable go out to the back that's what I would do and uh, believe it or not it lights up really well but this room above me right here is giant LED light strips so it's lighting the room up really intense, but uh, it's doing a pretty good job. So there we go. Let's uh, get the candle, and we're going to do our test to see how well the fans will take out the smoke. It's a better way of showing the paint going out. Let's go ahead and start her up. Well, you can see it pulling the flame in. I can, it's, it's wreaking havoc there with the flame. But we're going to go ahead, bring this down to the level. Let's see. This will also work with the matches. So what I'm going to do is light these matches and blow it out. Oh yeah, it's pulling it right out. Check that out. Yeah, it's doing a pretty good job. The other one did the same thing. Now don't forget, when you're airbrushing, you're in here like this, and you're and the airbrush, the paint is going into that area. This is just free flowing. I wish you could see it, it's still doing it. That's just free flowing and it's sucking it out. Whereas on this, we're actually getting, you know, 20, you know pounds of uh, per square inch with spraying like a hose into that area so it's not going to fly around you want to see how well it's going to take it away from the midpoint forward and uh, let me grab another match and show that again a lot of matches don't last long huh
Yeah, it does a pretty good job. I can actually feel it here. I put it right there because that's about where you're spraying. So yeah, it's doing a good job of extracting pretty good. Now let's go ahead and uh, let's gonna open up that model ship and we're gonna hold the hull up and see how big uh, a space we actually have here. And I'll get the tape measure out. All right, here we are. We pulled the camera out a little bit. In case you noticed, I always use, you guys who watch the channel a lot, you know I use a black cardboard. I get this at the dollar store or Walmart. It's uh, construction paper, you know, for craft projects. Um, you buy it cheap. I buy stacks of it because I use it. Because I want it to, when I shoot a, a new video, I like everything to be nice and clean. And uh, so you can see the colors I'm spraying and whatnot. So you can focus more on what I'm doing instead of the filth around it. So I just took this. I cut it and just put it in here. That's why you're seeing the difference. That's what was underneath. So that's why it looks so much nicer. Here is the hull of the ship. Look at that. So that obviously would not fit. In the original booth but now we have all the room uh aircraft you build larger larger scale 148 scale 132 scale you're going to fit that in here no problem and um let me get this out of the way i'm going to go ahead and show you guys one more thing before we wrap this up we'll take my airbrush here just to see how it works i have my other compressor that i tested on amazon behind me here we are ready to go. Let's get my little holder out of the way. I think we're just going to go ahead and turn this on. Without using any real paint, we're just going to go ahead and spray something. So, let's go with some rubbing alcohol. There we go. Nice and cheap. Now, we will be spraying, if you think about it, right about here. Yeah, and it's curving right in. I can see it going right in. So, really good. It does get the job done. The engineering about it, I'm not crazy about it. I'm going to wrap up in a second. I'll let you know what I think. But uh, it is nice to have. At this price, I'm a little weary. But other professional larger booths, my booth in the other room retails for like... 500 600 bucks so my, my booth is not cheap at all um and that is you know a little out of the range of some of you guys but what i'm going to say is i was hoping for more like it was made to be put together i mean it, as it is now it, it looks fine it almost looks like it was meant to go together you're just pushing the two of them together i like the filter pad material it's like just like the other one it peels out here set and you use the uh aquarium liner uh, the cream line, the cream filter rolls that I showed you guys that I use. And yeah, I buy that on Amazon. I just cut it up to shape and just stick it in here. It's a great money saver. You just tuck it right in, and uh, it works on all the boots. So it it is a great bonus. Like I said, you can go get any of your strip lights. I use these cheap ones, but you can also go ahead and get. Uh, they have like actual lights you would put under your counter. I would go with a couple of those, and uh, and save money if you want. The booth does come with lighting, but it's literally, uh, see this is falling out here, it bothers me. And now it's, um, it's like another 40 or 50 bucks. I think that's a waste. I think you can probably get your own lighting. But it doesn't take up much space. You can see how wide it is here. As I said, you're going to have both exhaust come out the back. You're going to get your double hose right here and put them both in here by this T-unit. It's 15 bucks. I got this at my Lowe's or, well there's Lowe's, but it was Home Depot or Lowe's. It was one of them. And um, these are the extra panels you take out. These are in the middle right here. You take one of them out. And the other one folds underneath. That's the other one right there. And that's it. That is the booth. Um, you know what? It's, it gets the job done. It's not cheap at over 200 bucks, But it's what you're going to have to pay if you want to go double size. So you could probably get two of their cheaper boots, maybe $90 ones, and stick them together. And probably get the same result. But I don't know how... Nice and closely, you're going to get them to fit here. This is very close together, well, which is kind of a bonus here. They're really tight up against each other. I don't know how the other ones are molded. Um, but this brand, maybe if you stick with Master. I'll, I'll put links below um, for the booth, one with the lighting, one without. And I'll put the, my original smaller booth, which is over here. 
That's where I put it. See, and that's actually smaller than this. Let's go ahead and measure this before we say goodbye here. All right, what we got here? 32, 32 and a half. So that's pretty big. The other boots are like 15 or 12. I mean, they're like that. It's actually a little smaller than this. That other booth is tiny. But yeah, 32, almost 33. Fantastic. That That's a really, really good size from end to end. So, well, there you go. You got the sound. It does suck up pretty good. It's got, uh, I like the filters that I can easily replace with my filter padding. And uh, you can line it with your own lighting. Um, and there's not much you're going to do at this size point. That you're going to be able to fit, like I said, large wings or hulls of ships. It's just uh, it's just not going to happen with a smaller booth. Um, but if you put a car, let me show you the difference with a car. The car's going to be swimming in there, right? There we go. So that's why if you're painting car models, half the size fits perfectly. But if you're building uh, larger kits, it depends what you You could be painting anything. Resin stuff and uh, uh, much larger pieces. If you're doing crafting and woodworking you probably want a bigger booth too. But anyway, that is the review. Um, I, again, I will leave links below. I'll put a link to my Patreon channel. I'm working on a bunch of Patreon videos now for my patrons. And I'm going to answer a few questions for them. That's what's going on now. I got another paint test coming up. Uh, I got some new Hobby Mio metal colors in. More Gaia is coming in, so I'm waiting for that so I can do a, a big Gaia test. And um, and then I got a question and answer. We're going to go through that. We're going to give away uh, a spray booth. I don't know which one I'm giving away. A booth. I might give away a waterfall spray booth. I have another waterfall spray booth I'll be testing too. That's coming up. I'll be giving away a compressor, just like that, an airbrush, uh, everything. Paints, a kit. It's going to be a super great Christmas gift. That video will probably be up next week. I'm going to uh, just question and answers. And I'm, I'm gathering up your questions now. It's a ton of them. I'm going to have to uh, wheedle it down a little bit because there's a, a lot of questions. So I'll, I'll pick the best ones to answer. And then from that video, I'll pick a winner. And someone's going to win a booth everything an airbrush a compressor it's gonna be awesome anyway guys thank you so much like the video if you haven't please subscribe in particular if you haven't already We're trying to get our numbers up uh, we do multiple videos a week so there's always something going on there's always a reason to subscribe so welcome aboard if you're into hobby building and hobby models or paints or anything in the hobby like that subscribe then uh, welcome aboard we have a great community here you guys are awesome You're always helping out each other and uh, I'm always glad to answer your questions. Anyway, guys, have a wonderful rest of your week. We'll see you closer to the weekend with the next video. God bless. Have a great day.